Hey, how many fingers am I holding up? Um, five. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. Moving forward. What's cracking, everyone? My name is Bree. And I'm Ryan. And we are doing the High Five for Bree series. This is video number three. Number and, three. And I think we've uh, compiled a list of our top mm. uh, dongles and... Um, top dongle. <laughs> the top dongle, guys. I hope I make the list. <laughs> and the IEMs. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and so we have been taking all of your suggestions off of the videos and kind of writing them down and then... I kind of went through the dongle deck portions quite a bit, and I know Bree kind of looked at the IM portions, and then we kind of came together and decided upon five things that we are going to list to you guys for the dongle decks, and I think we got it down to six, yeah, six, six. IMs uh, for that, and we'll talk to you about that here in a second. I do want to do a quick shout out to Fine Fine, which Fine Fine is a microphone company mostly, and these mics here came from Fine Fine. This is actually called the Tank 3 and that is the K688. Just doing a plug for them because I appreciate their microphones. They're at a budget price. You should check them out. But this is about IEMs and dongle decks. So uh, <laughs> so we'll get back to that. So for the dongle deck list, I think we can go ahead and start with that one and kind of, you know, you let me do the dongle deck list for the most part right. because I know technology-wise and things, you know, you're not as verse as I am with some of that stuff. And I think the aesthetics probably weren't quite as important for the dongle decks no. <laughs> as the IMs, other than the size of them, which I'm going to get my head out of the gutter for the rest of the video now. And we're just going to talk about them seriously. So uh, why don't we do that next? Hey, but first, why don't we plug the channel? That's probably a good idea. So please like this video and subscribe. We're still trying to hit 5,000 by the end of this year. Yes, and, I am. And uh, you have a Patreon, right? I do. I do have a Patreon, guys. I'd greatly appreciate all of your support. And for those that already have, thank you so much. Okay, now that we got all that out of the way, why don't we start with the Dungle Dak list first? And what we got first on the list? Okay, and these are in no specific order, um, but we have the Quest Style M15. Yeah, so the M15, that was first of all recommended, I think, the most. Actually, two of the Quest Styles were. And the M15, I think, comes in at 249. It's got balanced and unbalanced on it, which is pretty nice to have. Uh, so, yeah, that's why that one made the list. Aesthetically, it's. Again, probably not the biggest deal, but it is a dongle back size, so it's not going to be too big. So okay. what's next? Okay. And then we have the, is it Hibby? I know Hibby. I think Hibby. it's High Buy. High Buy. Somebody, high you buy. guys, please correct me as I know you will <laughs> if I'm wrong. <laughs> so we have the High Buy FC6. Yeah. So the FC6, first of all, I showed this to Brie and she liked it because it is aesthetically pleasing. It's got digital on it. It's got a green case along with it. It is like a teal color. So I thought she would appreciate the color. It is coming in a little bit high at $300. So it's a little bit on the high end of the dongle dax, but not the most. So what is uh, what's next? OK, so we have the AKHC4. So yeah, the Astle Kern HC4, that was highly recommended from Mike. Uh, shout out to Mike at Wu. And that one was a balanced and unbalanced dongle deck as well. I think it came in at 180 bucks, so it wasn't too bad on the price range. By the way, the FC6, I failed to mention, is just an unbalanced dongle deck. And what do we got next? Uh, the Theo Q15. The Theo oh, Q15? Is it Theo? Yeah, Theo. <laughs> I mean, you can say Theo, I guess. I you said Theo. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's the Theo Q15. So that is actually uh, a pretty much kind of a competitor to the Mojo 2. It actually is the most expensive at 399 and it's got EQ options. Yeah, which, which I do like. Yeah, yeah, I think that you would appreciate an EQ option. And then what's next on the list or last? Uh, the Quest Style um, M12. Yeah, so the M12 is kind of the little brother to the M15 in that it only has an unbalanced option, but it's only 149 bucks. So I thought if you wanted to go a little bit pricier on the IMs, that would be a great option to come in at. And I've heard a lot of good things about the M12 too. I think Warren actually recommended the M12. This is the M12i, which is pretty similar. So... Yeah, so moving on to the IEMs, mm -hmm. um, and guys, keep in mind that this is mostly top recommendations, but it's also mm -hmm. aesthetics, because I have yet to hear any of these, so it's not 
off a of sound yet, let me know. Drop it in the comments. Um, I have pretty small ears internally and outside. So um, keep in mind, if these are too big or you think it might be something I wouldn't like, put that in the comments for us. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and name the IMs and then you can kind of tell me, you know, what it is that caught your eye about them. So the first one we have, and I'm going to really butcher the name of this one because I had never heard of it before. The Zigat Sincotras. Hopefully I said that right. It's a uh, $270, so it wasn't bad on the price. It is a hybrid driver. I think most of these are hybrid driver IEMs. What did you like about that one? And again, <laughs> going off looks, um, this one I liked. Uh, it was, I think, darker in color, but then there were these like pretty speckled, like sparkly flecks that was in it. So I, you know, I'm a girl. I, don't know. <laughs> I like shiny not, things. Right? Yeah, why not? And the next one was actually Warren's pick, I think, and that was the Noble Audio Stage 3. Now, this one, I think, comes in at around $600, so it stretches the budget quite a bit. But, I mean, I trust Warren's ears. I know you do, too. So go ahead. What you Yeah, like? honestly, it's all about trust here, Warren. <laughs> um, I will say <laughs> I'm not a fan of what they look like. It's they're it's black. They're, they're a little boring, but uh, I completely trust you. So we added it to the list because... Who knows? I may love them and decide I don't need the sparkle in my life. So, uh, yeah. Very true. Very true. All right. So next on the list is the EPZ 530. I'd never heard of this one before either. But when I looked it up, I was like, this one's going to catch Bree's eye. Now, this one would take up the entire amount almost at $700. So we would probably have to find either a sale or a discount or something like that or used possibly. But I, yeah, what would you like about it? It was green. <laughs> and it's like emerald green. Yeah, it's, it's a very, very pretty green. <laughs> and it comes with a lot of accessories, a nice wood case. I mean, very eye-catching and was recommended. So yeah. the next one on the list was the The Audio Hype 4. This was probably the most hyped <laughs> IEM on the list and most talked about IEM. Comes in at 350 or 399 yeah, I think it's 399 that it comes in at. So not too bad. What'd you like about the Hype 4? Uh Besides being one of the top um, choices, honestly, I love all three of the different colors that they offer. Yeah, so I would have nice. a hard time just deciding. I think I like the white the best, but I, it's a hard yeah. choice. Yeah, yeah, but they're very pretty. No, they really are. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> next on the list was actually the High Senior Mega Fest. DMS shouted them out at Can Jam. You know, they made the list. Somebody else recommended them as well. They are five hundred and forty nine dollars. They're a little bit on the pricey side for our budget anyway, but what'd you like about those? Uh, it was it, going off of just the color and everything. I mean, it yeah. was kind of like a dark, deep kind of blue with some green flecks in it. So it was, it was a pretty, and it pretty looks cool. like you can probably change face plates, although right. I'm sure there's a different charge for that, but yeah. Yeah. And, and obviously, I mean, raved about sound quality wise. So how could it not make the list? And last but not least is actually a late edition. Nobody recommended these, but it's the Moondrop Dusk, and this has been a huge, huge hit in the Autofile community. I've told Bree about it. It's Critical's collaboration with Moondrop. I wanted to listen to it at Can Jam, and we just didn't get a chance to, and I've, I haven't watched videos on it. I've just seen so much hype around it that I thought, you know, we probably should put this one on the list. Comes in at $359 also, which isn't bad. And what'd you think of the look? It was interesting. So it's kind of like a uh, like a wood grain, like if you cut a tree in half, kind of, or but it's or like maybe gray. yeah, it's like right. it's gray. I wish there was a little bit more color to it, but um, it is kind of like a gray, kind of like that swirly wood kind of look, or kind of like a thumbprint. So at least it has some design to it. This so it's a true. little exciting. I just wish there was a little more color. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right. So basically, what's going to happen next is we are going to drop two polls and one poll for dongles and one poll for the IMs at noon Eastern time today of this video. And we are going to keep that open for two weeks. Yeah, I, I think, think that's two fair. Weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks so fair. please <laughs> jump in there and vote. We'll have a section for comments. So if you want to give some comments on why you voted for it, that will help us compile a list of a top three from each category and also give us time to reach out to companies in the meantime, see what we can hopefully get in yeah. and what we <laughs> might have issue with and, and things like that. And I was going to say, too, um, we were talking about how the pricing between the two. So sometimes like what might be top pricing for or top choice for one might not work with the top choice for the IEMs. Right. Or, so like yeah. if, if one of our top choices was the $400 dongle deck and then happens to be the 
EPZ IEM, that's 700 bucks, that's going to put us at 1200 and that's probably going to be a no-go unless we just get some massive sales and something. That's what you're saying. Yeah, so, yeah, so we yeah. might, depending on where we go with what we pick, it might end up just being, you know, maybe not the top of both based off of price. Yeah. So. We'll find the better yeah. balance of the two. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, I thank you so much for watching this video again. Please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And any last words of wisdom? Protect your eyes. Yes. <laughs> it's eclipse day. And we will see you, see in, the you in the next one. one.